Section number 5 DevOps Best Practices and Security. Our first video in this section will be on best practices in DevOps lifecycle. Listing some of the best practices, it's a cultural change which the teams need to adopt. Then comes the version control, everything should be under version control. Test driven development is a very important key point for DevOps lifecycle. Automation, everything should be automated as much as possible. Choosing the right tools, documentation, documenting everything and securing the infrastructure. Coming on to the first one, DevOps as a cultural change. Successful implementation of DevOps means that all teams should concentrate on collaborating as a single unit. You need to forget about the silos and work as one collaborative team. It is not the people and their roles. It is an actual change in the way you think about how things are done and the outcomes. You need to do things better. In order to grow exponentially, communication and collaboration becomes a key factor in DevOps culture. Collaborating between what? Is it between the development and operation teams only? Which is important. Rather, with the business teams also. That greatly helps to understand, to design and define a culture. Then comes the marketing and the sales teams also. Aligning all parts of the organization helps to get closer in projects and achieving the goals collectively. Like in a cultural change, if DevOps is implemented step by step with input from all teams and stakeholders, then the chances for success are drastically improved. Teams are working together, no blame game. It's a collective and a collaborative effort in which the DevOps implementation can be successful. Version control. Everything should be under version control. Every stage of DevOps lifecycle must be version controlled. It's not only the source code of the application, which is a must. In building environments, everything should be scripted and saved in the version control system. You should check out from the version system and then run those scripts to bring up the staging or production environments. Even the development environment must go through the same path. Testing steps, scripting and building up the test environment should also be under the version control. Same should follow for all the steps and phases of DevOps lifecycle. Test driven development. It is one of the best practices being used in DevOps. It is based on incremental testing and repetition of a very short development cycle. Developers write the automated test codes with inputs, errors and outputs, known errors and outputs, and then these automated tests normally fails at the first run. The developers start writing the code. As they write the code, they test it with the automation tests. Fix the code until all the tests are passed. Now clean up the code. So this process is being used and finally it refactored the code. Automation, a key factor of DevOps lifecycle. It gives you speed. Important aspect of DevOps is speed. Therefore application automation is always good to use. Reduces errors, costs and time. This saves a lot of time of team members. Manual work takes a lot of time and possibility of human error are always there. Automation directly helps in reducing the cost of the project and save money for the company. Automation reduces the burden of manual work. You can do anything manually, but that time can be used to focus more on development. Routine and redundant work is once played under automation, gives more time by putting energies in development. With huge collection of Jenkins plugins, automating builds has become much faster and easier. Its integration with version control system and then option for triggering tasks independently as well as in a sequence helps in building automated pipelines. Starting from builds, setting up staging, production environments, testing, delivery and deployment, each step should adopt automation leaving a minimal or no space for manual work. Choosing the right tools. Check for your requirements. What is needed 
which type of tools will be used and check its compatibility. The tools are compatible with your requirements or not. Evaluate the tools available. Once you finalize the tools, make it sure that your teams get stronger in using those tools. As long as you don't have the full grip on those tools, you won't be able to make the best use of it. Prefer most widely used tools. This is because a lot of work is being done on different tools and the tools which has maximum number of plugins available and supports are available that will help you to cover a lot of areas of your software lifecycle. So better prefer those tools which are being widely used. Moving up to documentation. Everything need to be documented. All the work you do must be documented. It can be reports, change management, processes, infrastructure, layouts, the pipeline which you have been using, DevOps lifecycle, everything should be documented. This will help in making your automation processes more efficient and if there are any flaws or any shortcomings, you will be able to make them efficient. Whenever there are changes in your team members, this documentation will always help the new team members in learning your system. Securing the infrastructure. Compliance from the beginning. If your team follows certain compliance from the first day, then there is very less chance to compromise on your data. Set up routines to verify your vulnerabilities in your infrastructure. Use security best practices. This should not be avoided. Get some pen testing on your application as well as on your infrastructure. Make it a routine. This practice should be done after every six months. These were some of the best practices which a DevOps team in an organization must adopt in order to attain very workable environment of DevOps lifecycle. Our next video will be on security best practices in DevOps.